Hello my lovelies. Okay, so first of all, sorry that the last Monday video came out on Sunday. It was completely my fault uh, and it wasn't done on purpose. What happens when I finish the vlog, I, use, I usually post it on YouTube and I schedule it. Uh, for the time and day that it comes out and I obviously know my head was all over the place um, I obviously schedule it, scheduled it uh, for Sunday instead of Monday so that's why it still said Monday vlog but it was posted on Sunday but I wanted to ask you actually wouldn't it be better if I did my vlogs on Sundays I just thought most of you are at home not at work not doing anything you know it's it's a quite relaxing day on Sunday um, would it be better because I think I would maybe rather post my vlog vlogs on Mondays and then in a week I've got more flexibility when I post my makeup video or something like that let me know if my I wanted to say the biggest thank you to you you don't know how much all your comments meant to me you know of course i've got my family i've got friends but to have hundreds and hundreds of people uh, praying for for us and and um, being really kind it just made it so much easier to deal with what i'm dealing um, thank you for sharing your experiences, for giving me reassurance uh, that I should do what, what my gut tells me. Uh, some of the stories were quite upsetting as well. I know a lot of us love and have animals, so you know how it feels. But honestly, thank you so much. It, you probably don't have an idea how much that helps. Okay, so while you're watching this video, it's been, I think, just over two weeks since I found, found out. So I've gone through hell. Um, I was making myself ill, basically, and it wasn't good to anybody. Um, I've cried so much. Um, I bought this book. I told you about this book. Uh, so this is the bo book, The Dog Cancer Survival Guide by Dr. Damien Dressler and he, with, a, with Dr. Susan Ettinger, who is an oncologist. So I think Dr. Dressler is just a vet, but he obviously has special interest in oncology and he wrote it with this oncologist. Such a good book, honestly, Look at me, I've got stickers, uh, I've highlighted things in there. I've read this book in two days. I spent hours re researching stuff on, on internet. Honestly, my head was going to explode, but this really helped. Basically in here, it guides you from the moment of the diagnosis to what to do, how to take care of yourself as well uh, and be there for your dog, not to stress your dog because they really feed off your emotions as well. It goes through traditional treatments, traditional treatments com combined with more natural treatments and just natural treatments. And it tells you basically how to navigate it and how to make a best decision. It talks about palliative pala pala care. <laughs> Is it palliative care? Um, just everything. Wonderful book. So I will leave you a link to, to that book. It's really, really good. Really well written. Really comprehensive. Um, it helped a lot. A lot of you have been t telling me about ivermectin and fenbenzadol. I know all this, CBD oil, I know all this, but because this doctor, I think um, this supplement is patent pending, um, he created Apocaps. 
and apple caps are uh, hang on because i've got notes everywhere apple caps help with apoptosis and apoptosis is um the natural death of cells so when the cells you know when your cells develop go through their life cycle and if they go a bit wrong they self-destruct and when they don't that's when things go wrong so this is supposed to hopefully help with um killing off the cancer cells uh, it is all natural they even have a like a information leaflet for vets so i've printed that out so i can take it to my vet um so that was that i think i'm going to try this i've started straight away um cooking louis homemade food because i've read a lot that you know the the food the commercial food that they eat is not that good god knows what they put in it um and also you have to restrict carbs sugar because cancer feeds off sugar so i've started cooking his food as well he's loving it oh another thing apart from this book i i found on youtube dog nutritionist he's here in the uk you can buy his ebook and he also developed like a food topper for the dogs that has all the nutrients that they need and he does amazing easy recipes for dog food i don't know how i've never found him before because i found like just youtubers cooking food for their dogs but he's an actual um dog nutritionist so i will leave you the link to his channel as well so I'm feeling much, much better, calmer than yesterday, uh, the vet called me. So when we came back from the oncology clinic, I think it was Thursday. On Friday, I called, I might have told you this, I called the vet, um, the reception and told them that I would like to speak to Louis' vet and and um, she said she would pass on the message and that evening his vet emailed me and she said I still don't have the report from oncology clinic I will call you as soon as I get it well I was waiting till Tuesday and she still hasn't called so I called again um, because all I had in my head after we came back from the oncologist well, all week really is I have to do something now otherwise he'd be dead tomorrow that was my frame of mind if I don't do start doing something today he'd be dead tomorrow or next week so I called the vet again and I told the receptionist you know I don't mind even paying for consultation because I understand you know time is money and she was operating all day when I called um, and I said you know I want to just speak to her what i've decided you know have a proper conversation with her she said okay as soon as she finishes operating i will let her know and um, she'll probably call you first and then you can come in so bless she, bless her she called me she is so lovely it made me cry again um because she spoke to me for ages for nothing for free you know and vets are not like that you go for like 10 minute checkup and and you pay 55 pounds um so i quickly told her she said do you know i'm really disappointed they still haven't sent the report from oncology clinic and i told her i wasn't happy with them and i basically told her that i'm leaning towards not doing anything uh just changing his diet and giving him the supplements you know i'm giving him the mushrooms uh, so um so she was fine about it and I, I said you know i just want to know if you will support me in that journey so if i want to give him something different i can always come to you and and you can tell me if this is okay to give to him you know said of course no problem we will work together and then i asked her would it be worth catching out a bit more you know what that margin was and see if we, we can get clear margin she said yes we could and she said you know we could even test his um lymph nodes without taking them out you can apparently take a sample with an with a needle and i suppose they would take that when when she's taking a bit more tissue off but i don't 
I haven't decided if I'm going to do that at, at all. I, I would just, you know, my ideal scenario would be that they cut out a bit of more of that tissue, send it off and the margins are clear, which means we got it, all of it. But then I think, well, what if he comes back now, he's still there, or if the lymph nodes come back, he's in lymph nodes. Well, I've already decided I wasn't going to treat him with any chemo or radiation. So I don't know. But she said as soon as she gets the report, because she obviously can read the medical stuff better. And I don't know if I remember everything what they've told me. She will call me again and then we will go from there. So I am feeling much calmer. Um, you know, I just don't want to give off that stress to Louis because the other day, because also now, you know, he's had his teeth done. I should be brushing his teeth every day to keep them like this. But he is a nightmare. I can't, I can't get near his eyes. Well, he doesn't mind me like getting rid of, you know, the sleep in his eyes. But if I want to look in his mouth, he is all like this. And um, the other day I tried to brush his teeth and he just would not let me. And I was getting stressed and then Paul was telling me how to do it. So I screamed at, at him because, you know, I was so stressed with it all. And then I cried. I can't even brush his teeth. And Louis looked so scared. So I thought, that's it. I've got a plan. I know which way I'm going. I'm doing everything I can. And we're just going to carry on as normal now. So, you know, he's fine. I've told you, if I if we didn't have that uh, lamp tested, we wouldn't even know because there is absolutely nothing wrong with him right now. So, yes. So, um, that's what we're going to do. Oh, and another great bit of news we've had this week. Um, we've got our money back for the sofa with raise, raising that section um, I don't remember what section it is but it's to do with the rights of customers because before that even though we've given all the evidence the photos the report of the engineer the people that deal with just this complaint are not really lawyers it's more like a customer service. So once you've raised the section 55, I think the, the lawyers get involved. So we've got our money back. We were so relieved because, you know, it was just so, so stressful thinking you would forget about it and suddenly you think, oh my God, what about the sofas? So that was good news. So yes, I'm, I'm feeling much more positive. Uh, you've helped me immensely with your kind words and your comments. So thank you. Thank you again from the bottom of my heart um, You are just the best um, And yeah life goes on we're back to normal. Okay, we are back to normal And of course I will update you if I you know if we do anything with the vet but I'm gonna have a deep conversation with her about that so so yes I'm going um, for coffee now with with my friend um, she's been very supportive as well so it's been lovely uh, chatting to her so uh, you know I've seen her last week and she said oh let's meet up again this week so you know she knows obviously um, because talking about it helps uh, so yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. I've cooked a big batch of Louis food, so I'm all organized and feeling much better and more positive. Look at my Louis. Doesn't care about anything. Do you want to go for a walk, Louis? You don't, do you? Do you, you want to go walkies? You just want to lie here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's how he spends his days on his back. <laughs> He's so lazy. Come on, let's go for a walk. Come on. Go for a boy. A three week old pups have just emerged from the den. Each of these little bundles.
pounds of fur needs nearly 300 calories of food every day. A tall order for mum. Good morning, my lovelies. <clears throat> so, look at this gorgeous headband. It was so sweet, so I got like a gift box from the current body you know the people that um, sent me the halo and the hair removal IPL uh, for Women's Day and I thought it was so sweet I got um, this lovely green tea serum it's a huge bottle Um, there was a like a handmade biscuit in there, dried flowers, a couple of those hydrogel face masks and this headband. It's so lovely. I love this headband. It's made out of like a terry cloth, you know, like a towel, toweling. Is that terry cloth? I suppose it is. Also, I have bought to try you know I always look for a different brow setting gel because the because the benefit that I use I like using the small ones I don't know I feel like I'm getting more out of them so I always get the small size not the full size um, I'm looking always for cheaper alternative and I've tried so many some that you've recommended but I feel like nothing can be the benefit so I just saw that Anastasia came out with one and this is just like a small size you can buy the small size if you want it's not much cheaper I think the small one was 12 pounds or 15 so it's not like it's cheaper. I really love the brush on it. I prefer this brush to the Benefit one, but it's okay, but it's more like this is sort of liquidy, like a liquidy gel, but it dries. It dries quite stiff, almost like a hairspray. This to me is more greasy and yeah it brushes your brows through really nice but I don't feel that they are stiff like with this and also this it's been crumbling when it dries you can almost see like white bits sometimes I use quite a lot of it so maybe I've used too much but yeah I'm not impressed I like the brush and you will brush your brows really well anyway I'm not a fan I still prefer this just thinking I wonder if you can buy this on current body or it was just a gift I will have a look if you can buy this then I will leave you the link because it's really really secure and feels comfortable it's not very loose but it's not too tight so I have a look if they actually sell them because if they do I might buy another one I actually have bought a few odd bits of makeup ages ago but obviously I wasn't in the right frame of mind to make videos one of them is this it's quite new I think elf halo glow liquid filter so i think this is very similar to the charlotte tilbury hollywood filter so i need to do video with that i've got some other bits um i will get back to it as soon as possible okay my lovelies i better go and get on with my day good morning my lovelies I'm going today to have my eyes tested. I definitely need new glasses because I don't think mine are good enough anymore, if you know what I mean. And I I probably had my last eye test two, two or three years ago. 
I just wanted to show you about a couple of things from Zara. This is one of them. But let me show you this first. Just a, a simple vest. It's like £17, but it has these little studs on. And I thought that would be nice and cute for the summer. But this is a size medium. When I put it on, the straps seem a bit too long, so so it was quite long under the arms, so it would show the bra and all that. So a shame because it's really nice, but I'm going to send that back. And this is a bodysuit. So I don't normally wear bodysuits. Um, what I hate about bodysuits is the bottom part. They are never ones that are thongs or full bottom knickers they are in between so they feel quite annoying <clears throat> but this fabric is like polamid polamid i don't know um i think they're trying to be like skims uh this was very inexpensive i think 17 pounds as well and actually I don't mind the bottom bit on, on this one, especially if you, maybe if you wore like really like linen trousers or something, it wouldn't be that good. It probably would show and might be uncomfortable, but if you wore jeans or skirt, it would be fine. And I really, really like it. So, and they do them in so many different styles. I might order some more. Um, I like the bodysuit for the fact that sometimes you want, if you're wearing something high-waisted or a skirt, you don't want that extra fabric of your top round here. Um, you want it to look nice and smooth, so you can only really achieve that with a bodysuit. Let me get up and show you. I've just got navy trousers on. Yeah, so it's really nice. It feels so, so lovely and soft. And I don't know, it goes a bit like that. But because the fabric is so soft, it doesn't bother me so much. I think if it was like a cotton, thicker fabric, it maybe would feel different. But this is really thin and soft. It has double layer just up to here. I don't know if that shows on the camera. I need to cut off this label. Uh, so it's just double layered here, but I don't feel like it's see-through here. So, yeah, they are really, really nice and they do quite a lot of them. And this color is so, so pure white. I find that sometimes it's so difficult to get really proper white top. You think you're ordering white, but it's like off-white or cream. But this is pure, pure white. I feel very pale today. I've got quite light foundation on and my hair is so blonde as well because I've just used a bit of um, dry shampoo because my hair really needs washing but I couldn't be bothered today. So I've sprayed um, dry shampoo and you know it leaves that white cast which is fine on my hair. I am going to try to get out a makeup video for this week um, I think I've told you I don't know if in this vlog or previous vlog I don't know that I've bought a few new makeup products so um, I will try to film it this week I have a few things going on I'm going with Louis to see the vet so I don't know but I will try my my hardest Okay, my lovelies, I think I will finish this vlog. Let me know. So I'm posting this one on Sunday again. Let me know if Sundays work better for you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you again for all your kind words. Have a great week and stay fabulous. Bye.